Hey everybody, I'm Jen and welcome to the opensource.com weekly top five. Every Friday we bring you the top five articles from the past week, so let's jump right in. All right, at number five we have, the future of open source is a better user experience. Nick Yeats writes that his favorite open source software survey is the annual one by Black Duck Software that asks, what is the future of open source software? To Nick, to be the future, open source needs to move from scratching an itch to better user experience. Read more about how open source can do this in this timely article. At number four, we have be a responsible open source user. New contributor to opensource.com, Jason Van Gumpster, talks about what it means to be a responsible open source user, really. Because aren't we all in this together? Open source communities thrive on collaboration and communication. So we, the users, are the quality control, documentation, and marketing departments, for example. So Jason tells us how we can be better in all three in this article. At number three, the open source projects that transformed Hadoop. Jonathan Buckley, the interim chief marketing officer at Kubole, a platform for big data analytics, takes a look at how three open source projects have transformed the Hadoop ecosystem. They are Hive, Spark, and Presto. At number two, why large companies use open source ERP. Hans Baker tells open source ER, talks about open source ERPs, or enterprise resource planning systems. Open source ERP systems, he says, are great for large organizations because a new interface shell is created outside of the core system, whereas with commercial systems, the existing interface is customized, which makes upgrades difficult. He also says it's valuable to own your own system. You can do it yourself in the end or hire a provider. Finally, at number one, Google shares gRPC as alternative to REST for microservices. Luis Ibanez, a software engineer at Google, goes into detail in this article about the recently released Google Remote Procedure Call for servers called gRPC. gRPC is based on the recently finalized HTTP2 standard that enables new capabilities and provides libraries for multiple languages. Find the source code on GitHub, which includes extensive documentation and a main web page. All right, everybody, that's it. Thanks so much for joining me. Find the articles in the notes below, as well as in the article that we publish every Friday. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.